Hello, lovely gamers, and welcome in. Today, I am going to work on my Forest of Valor. I've been slowly turning this into a fall build. You can see over here, I already did this side. It's so beautiful. It's all fall. Um, and I'm slowly working on the other side now. So we got this house in the premium shop a few weeks ago. I plopped it down over here and I haven't actually decorated it yet. So first off, I did decide to go ahead and move it. I was gonna keep it kind of floating there in the middle, but it just felt weird and there felt like too much space behind it. So I moved it over here against the wall and just added a walkway right here so that you could get up to it. I'm using these Timon, I don't remember, was this Timon or Pumbaa, these lights from their quest? I finally got them and so I've been using them everywhere. Uh, they just look so pretty and of course we're getting out the sunlit plateau grass that is how I can turn the forest of valor biome into fall <laughs> with this grass if I didn't have this grass it would be very hard because we kind of have to get rid of the green um, so I use lots of the grass and then just start layering in different things I added some flowers obviously pumpkins are very fall they add a lot of orange and pretty colors that remind me of fall on the left side over here, I added some more grass and I decided I was gonna make like a cute little seating area. Uh, I tend to get down on eye level a lot to fill in little gaps. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm filling in all these like little gaps. So you see less of the green grass and more of these flowers. And so you see more browns, orange and yellow to really help this look more like fall. I don't mind this house that has the pumpkins in the front. I know they're a little more Halloween uh, with the jack-o'-lantern, but it's fine. I, I, I don't mind it too much. I decided to make a walkway off the side of the house because this house has that second door, which is kind of cool. I'll probably never use the second door. Let's be honest. If I use the house, I'll go in the front. But I did add these stones. These are the sunlit plateau stones so that if you needed to go into the side of the house, you could. And I'm just going to layer tons and tons of bushes and all of these different warm colors to really help it look more like fall over here. I'm also going to drop some tea and I made a little pie as well to put on the table because that's what I would love to do is sit out there with some pie and tea. But here I'm gonna add like little books and different things because this is what I would love to do. I decided to add the well and just add some grass around it. Uh, it's kind of hard to work in this big blank open space <laughs> trying to decide what am I going to put there. So I put down a well with some flowers and then I got out some more red trees because of course the red trees scream fall and layered those around as well. I'm just going to keep layering the grass and all of the brown, reds, rust colored foliage that we have. And then here is that gazebo. This is like the Halloween gazebo because it has spider webs but the color on it is very, I don't know, it just looks fall to me. It looks kind of rustic and old and I thought this area was a nice area to put it in. So I put it over here instead. Uh, I added, of course, another one of those cute lights because I really love those. And then just layered in some more stones and flowers and everything around it. I think behind the gazebo, I'm gonna probably put a bunch of red trees and stuff, but we'll see. Um, I did change it to the most perfect time of day, the beautiful sunset time so that we could walk through the beginning of my forest. I think it's starting to really come together and look more like a fall biome. I can't wait till we get the DLC because some of those areas over there look very fall and technically I could move all of this over there. Um, I might be tempted, but this is taking a lot of work to just fill this all in. So I might just leave this like it is. Uh, yeah, I, I really do like it. Right, look at Tiana. She's already enjoying the books. Exactly what I wanted for this little section over here was to enjoy some reading and books. So thank you guys so much for watching this little speed build. It's just a small section of my forest, but I think that it's turning out really nice. Um, this is a little overview of my forest. You can see this whole side over here is fall. And then across the river, that side is fall too. I did that a while ago. Um, so that side is also ready. So all I have to work on is this left side, which is very big and open. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna put over there. Um, 
Um, but I just love how it turned out. It's finally getting to where I want it to be. Thank you guys again for watching, for being here, for liking my videos. I so, so appreciate all the support I've gotten on the channel. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful rest of your day. And maybe I'll see you in a live stream. I do stream a couple days a week. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.